Easy people, hope everyone's doing okay. Today we're on a little walk and talk and we're gonna discuss free energy, electromagnetic energy and how it relates to the old world bricks, the red brick, Tartarian brick for want of a better description. Before we begin our discussion, we need to establish some fundamentals about our reality. And we're gonna dive into quantum physics. In particular, we're gonna look at solids because on a quantum level, solids do not exist. Now, as far-fetched as that may sound, we're talking about atoms and molecules because this really is the makeup of our reality. When we say the bricks from the old world had the possibility to hold energy, we are talking about on the molecular level. Now, of course, if we are to run into a brick wall, it's gonna cause us a lot of pain, but on a molecular level, it's not a solid. It is atoms vibrating at a certain frequency that gives the perception of a solid. A simple experiment that we can do right now, I can't because I'm holding the camera, to show how atoms can change their vibration and create energy is rub your two hands together. What happens? You create heat. Heat is energy. And that is because the atoms, the molecules in our hands, have increased their vibration. This increases the energy and this is what gives us heat. Now let's apply that same process to the bricks. If we could electrically charge the bricks with some form of technology, we would be able to vibrate the atoms and the atoms would be able to generate heat. And what is important to note about the old world bricks is they are made from iron ore containing iron. Iron and copper are both great conductors of electricity. It's these old world bricks that are made of iron ore that we see in the old world buildings, the red bricks in particular, uh, stand out. These are the old world buildings that we are talking about had the potential to harness energy, harness electricity, which could generate the heat. And that is why when we look at these old world houses, they only have the fireplace in the living room, with the majority of. Same with the big manor houses. That is because the fireplace wasn't used as we use it today to have an open fire to heat the one room. We actually have lots of documented evidence that shows us old world technology, Antiquitech, that was placed at the bottom of these fireplaces. A metal plate with four raised edges, um, some sort of antennas to a, to a certain degree. And these plates are, are what would have re redirected the energy that was coming down the chimney because on top of the chimney is where we would have had an iron antenna. And we find these still in the old world buildings, lots of iron antennas still in, in, in place and lots of the copper domes that we see on the old buildings because as I said earlier, they are both great conductors of electricity. When we say that word electricity, we picture today's use of electricity through wires, through power stations. But we need to scrap that to really be able to perceive this in our mind's eye because this realm that we find ourselves in is an electric universe, an electric world, really. Um, the empty space, as, as I'm walking now, this empty space that we call air, is actually the ether. And it is made up of atoms and molecules that are charged. Now, if you can harness that and tap into it and generate um, a current, then you are able to harness this electromagnetic energy that is found all around us. Even today, we have invisible technology that we can't perceive in our sensory view of the world such as wi-fi uh, infrared um, even x-rays you know we, we can't see these things but we know they are happening and that is because they are channeling through the ether they are using the ether to be able to implement these these modern day technologies high up in the earth's ionosphere is where this energy is generated from and the word ion is synonymous with energy, with the process of pluses and negatives, the electrical flow, the electrical current. 
a visual representation of the ionosphere at play would be the sun when it comes into view where we are in the realm and exits our view in the realm as we call a sunrise and sunset that isn't really a sunrise and sunset but that's a, another story for another day entirely now in the 30 40 minutes that this uh, that the sun comes into view where we are in the realm and exits our view in the realm the sky begins to change color this is the electromagnetic energy um, changing the the ether so to speak the the empty space between us as a visu visual representation when it's at its peak it turns turns it blue that is why the sky is blue it is the electromagnetic energy of the sun um, viewed as a as color viewed as color this is electromagnetic energy at play the sun produces electromagnetic energy through waves and these waves uh, these waves travel through the ether the sun provides enough energy to power literally everything within our world um, even when we get down to our own magnetic field our own electromagnetic field in the form of an aura this is charged by the sun it's why uh, during winter time when we're not getting the same amount of sunlight it is well known that this can cause some forms of depression and it is simply because we're not getting enough of the electromagnetic energy that the sun provides another form of electromagnetic energy that we use pretty much every day is the radio radio waves these are traveling through the ether but it's electromagnetic energy when we get down to the uh, quantum physics level of what this actually is happening even our own magnetic field has the potential to affect those around us that's why sometimes when we're in good company we feel the energy through the ether and when we're around bad company we feel the negative energy we call it bad vibes and good vibes but this is uh, just an expression on a quantum physics level we are dealing with the ether going back to the houses and harnessing this electromagnetic energy the red brick houses also the beige brick uh, old world brick this is also made of iron ore but if we look at old world cities and towns even the smallest of towns we usually find churches or cathedrals now these were the old world power stations harnessing the majority of the electromagnetic energy and the antennas that would have been on the houses in the surrounding area would almost create a grid that would feed off of this main power station i believe this is why we find some grand churches and cathedrals in the most insignificant of places even in my hometown of leighton buzzard we have a old world church that has one of the tallest spires in the entire area now on the grand scheme of things it really is an insignificant town but it is an old world town for sure we have many of the red bricks the old world tartarian bricks and i believe that that church was harnessing the majority of the electromagnetic energy back in the day because these places are older than we have been told this just fits in with the timeline of events our recent timeline of events to to keep us from the awareness of electromagnetic energy and its potential but it's just a <laughs> few geese here on the side i hope they don't attack me while i'm <laughs> while i'm not looking but um yeah so i just wanted to give a very brief and basic description of electromagnetic energy and how the old world buildings would have been harnessing this energy because for many who haven't done the research or just haven't had the awareness of this subject it is totally totally foreign to them you know they just dismiss it straight away call it as nonsense but i really encourage you to go in and look up some of the things that i've just spoken about in this video really go into it and try to understand them um, and that way you'll be able to join dots this is the best way to form a picture to really see something how how it would work and words on their own don't don't really do it justice you know you have to go in and do most of the research i hope you find the video of use and it encourages you to go in and look into this subject further so 
as always have a wonderful day a day full of wonder in the realm uh, take care of yourselves and I will catch up with you real soon because I'm out doing lots of videos at the moment um, have some longer ones that I'm just going through the process of editing right now to show you this old world the old world architecture and how these old world cities we're really harnessing this, this free energy, electromagnetic energy. So take care of yourselves. I'll catch up with your next one. Peace out.